starting lineup, which is the Thames team that registered the astonishing 7-0 win at Fairhill in midweek. The moral of the story is, don't force the Dons to travel to Glasgow twice in four days. And there's the man who helped himself to a hat-trick in that match, Duncan Shearer, who's been a great success this season since his half-million-pound move from Blackburn. He scored 18 goals in 21 games, seven of them coming in the last five matches. A remarkable record. Hearts manager Joe Jordan has Gary Mackay available again after injury, but Dutchman Peter van der Ven has failed to recover from a groin injury in time to face his old club. Once again, the Tank Castle side will be looking to the scoring talents of Ian Baird, who has been in splendid form recently, scoring the equaliser against Rangers last week, plus the winners against Hibs and Dundee United, to gain five points out of the last six for his club. The referee is Jim McCluskey from Stewarton. Police has moved uh, into the six-yard area. And Brian Irvin is uh, there as well. And it's Irvin who attacks the ball there. That scramble it clear. McLeish plays it to bat. Another rock, but one. And the goal by Irvin. Brian Irvin scores for Aberdeen. Twelve minutes gone here at Petodre. And Brian Irvin gets his second goal of the season. McLeish had played the ball back out to bat. This cross come in. The downward pedal there. Left Henry Smith stranded. This is Ian Jess now for Aberdeen. Holding off the challenges. Doing well. Here he is again. Superb play by Ian Jess. That's Stephen Wright. That's a fine cross. The chance on here. And Henry Smith put off an excellent save there from Paul Mason. Excellent goalkeeping, but a terrific play initially by Ian Jess. Then Stephen Wright stepping away from the defender, getting in an excellent cross. It eventually broke through to Paul Mason. Come off the head of Shearer there. And Henry Smith did well. So there will be a little injury time. Brian Irvin did require some treatment. Bill Hart pushing forward, but uh, it's picked up now by Jim Betts. Played out in the direction of Mason. It's Mason against Levine. Aberdeen are pouring players forward here. Still Mason, he stabs it through now to Jess. Hearts won't want to lose another one here. Here's Shearer. Oh, a terrific goal. Duncan Shearer right on the stroke of half time. Gets his 19th goal of the season. Well, it was a superb play by Aberdeen. Jess got the ball right across the face of goal. And there was Shearer to finish off in some style so 19 goals for Duncan Shearer and it's Aberdeen 2 Hearts nil. and that really does leave Hearts with an amazing battle in their hands now certainly Aberdeen have been the better team in this first half and there goes the half time whistle and applause rings all around for Padre. It was Brian Irvin after 12 minutes to put Aberdeen ahead. The ball was put in from the right-hand side by Jim Betts. And there was Irvin with the downward header. And then right on the stroke of half-time, Duncan Shearer finishing off a superb move by Aberdeen. The half-time score here at Padre. Aberdeen 2, Hearts 0. So no changes in uh, either side. And Scott Booth and Paul Kane are on the bench for Aberdeen. Here come Hearts uh, trying to make an early impression. Uh, Hearts are by Ian Ferguson and Glyn Snodden on the substitute bench. So this is uh, Derek Ferguson. No doubt uh, Joe Jordan had plenty to say to his players during the interval. It was a very disappointing first half by them. We made very little impression on 
an Aberdeen defence which has been well marshalled by their skipper Alec McLeish and uh, Brian Irvin. They performed very solidly indeed and uh, the youngsters Stephen Wright uh, and Gary Smith have also performed excellently. But here come Hearts, the chance is on here! And Ian Baird pulls one back. 46 minutes and Ian Baird breathes life back into this game and into the Hearts challenge. That's his sixth goal of the season. And you can see the determination in his face. Well, what a scoring record he's had recently. He was right in at the start of the move. And he was there to finish it off. It was played in by John Miller. Inside the Aberdeen penalty area. Baird's hovering there as well. There's Levine's header. And Graham Hogg scores for Hearts. 57 minutes gone. What a turnaround in this game. Well, Craig Levine it was who got his head to the ball. Baird had gone on a run to the near post. He took players with him. Levine got in the header and then Hogg got the touch. This is Scott Booth. And again, Aberdeen gets the throw. Little turn there by Jess. She does on the far side. He gets the knock down there. This is Richardson laying it off to Mason. Oh, great goal by Paul Mason. 65 minutes gone. It's Aberdeen 3. Hearts 2. Great play by Ian Jess. A lovely little turn there. Shearer got the knock down. It was laid off then by Richardson. And what a finish by Paul Mason. Play on, says the referee. Uh, Alec McLeish comes across though to provide the cover. He clears well. This is Levine for Hearts. Cut out by Richardson, who's having a splendid game. That's an excellent ball through to Mason. Aberdeen are pouring players forward. He's just running into the near post. And there's Shearer. 71 minutes, another classic goal from Aberdeen. Shearer gets his second goal of the game. It's his 20th of the season. It was a great ball from Richardson to Mason. Again, Aberdeen with plenty of running off the ball. He and Jess come tearing in towards the near post. He took defenders with him, and there was Shearer to finish it off. Aberdeen four, Hearts two. Here they come again. It's Ian Jess, it's Shearer. That's his third hat trick of the season. Duncan Shearer completes his hat trick. It's his third hat trick of the season. A mistake there initially by Levine. Scott Booth was in there. Ian Jess did brilliantly sent the ball across the face of the penalty area and in step Shearer thank you very much Gary Mackay sends it clear it's done by Brian Grant that's excellent play oh magnificent goal Scott Booth what a fabulous finish to this match Terrific play again. The houses for a finish off the underside of the bar. Aberdeen six. Half two. This is both. Surely it can't be another one. And it's hooked away by Gary Mackay. There goes the final whistle on what's been a quite remarkable afternoon here in the Granite City. There's the hat-trick man himself, Duncan Shearer. He scored in the first half and then delivered two more in the second half. The Aberdeen fans absolutely delighted. 
the final score here at Petardry Stadium, Aberdeen 6.